Hello, my name is Simonize and welcome to another Simonize Guide video. The Phase 3 epic crafting quest has been discovered and in this quick video I'll tell you all that you need to do. I'm not trying to waste your time, so let's get right to it with the first step. And that is to enter the Ashenvale Nightmare Incursion and head south of the Lumber Mill. Eventually you'll gain a debuff that looks like Resurrection Sickness. Once that happens, you can turn around and exit the Nightmare Incursion. Talk to the regular quest giver on the outside and click through the dialog options. After clicking through the dialogue, she'll offer a quest to send you to Loganar the Druid in Moonglade. However, when you go to Moonglade, Loganar might not be there. Try swapping layers until you find him. He's right here near the last N in Nighthaven on the map, right at this Moonwell. Loganar will send you to Itharius in a cave in southwestern Swamp of Sorrows, near where the Green Whelps are. Itharius will ask you to investigate the Sunken Temple. You'll need to do the raid for this. My group just normally cleared through the instance and I received quest credits somewhere between the third and fifth bosses when I checked my quest log. I hadn't done anything special other than doing the raid. You then return to Atharius in Swamp of Sorrows, who sends you back to Loganar in Moonglade. And when you turn in the quest at Loganar, the shadowy figure who we talked with in phase one and phase two will spawn and you can talk to her again. After clicking through the dialogue options she has, she'll offer a new quest. Accept the quest and head to Booty Bay. Inside the inn in Booty Bay, you'll find an injured gnome next to the rogue trainer. Talk to him and accept his quest. Run out of Booty Bay and head to Jaguero Isle. On the southeastern end of the island, you'll find this small murloc and a small dirt pile. Click the dirt pile, then complete your quest at the murloc. Return to Moonglade and talk to the shadowy figure again. She'll give you a fancy pair of bracers to use. Equip these and find a few friends and head back to the Ashenvale Nightmare Incursion. With the bracers equipped, the nasty debuff caused by the Nightmare Amalgamation monster will not affect you and you can defeat it. But you will need the help of your friends. This boss is no pushover. We had four people with one tank, one healer, and two DPS, and it was pretty straightforward, but definitely not soloable. After you defeat the Nightmare Amalgamation, you can loot the Mantle of Nightmares and return one final time to Moonglade to talk to the shadowy figure. Upon completing the quest, she'll offer a new dialogue option to teach you recipes. When I did this, I had 225 engineering skill at expert level and 300 leatherworking skill at artisan level, and she only offered me leatherworking recipes. I suspect you only need 250 skill to learn these, since that's the requirement on the items themselves, but I do not know for sure. When you complete this final quest, she'll also give you an inert mantle of nightmares, an essential crafting reagent to craft your new epic items. The nightmare seeds you also need for those come from the Sunken Temple raid and can be bought or sold on the auction house if you didn't get too many of them in your raid. This quest has a good bit of traveling back and forth to Moonglade, but is definitely less obnoxious than the one from phase two if you ask me. If you're a druid and you have teleport Moonglade, that's basically a cheat code to make this way easier. But that's all you need to know to get your super powerful epic crafting recipes in phase three of Season of Discovery. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you've been having fun in Season of Discovery and I hope you have a great day.